Hello, my name is Pastor Larry Gates. I'm a member here at Christ and the Vacancy Pastor at Apostles of Christ in Wauwatosa. Our devotion today is based on 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. We're going to start with just this question. How many times have you said this prayer to God? God, take this problem away. I can't deal with it anymore. And what's really amazing is that every one of us throughout our life has said that question, asked that prayer more than once. Because we try to solve a problem, we try to solve a problem, and we get so frustrated that there's no solution to our human mind. And finally, after all of this, we turn to our God and say, God, can you help me solve this problem? What's really amazing is that when you look at all the people of the Bible, it's said by every one of the patriarchs, every one of the, the so-called heroes of the Bible, they reach a point and they say, I can't handle this anymore, God. And that's why what's really amazing is God's response, because he always says no. And the reason is, is I've already given you the power, the wisdom, and the love to solve it. All you have to do is draw this power from me and together we'll deal with this problem and we'll overcome it. And that's why these verses are so important. It says, his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them, you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption of this world caused by evil desires. Now it's that last phrase that's really amazing to us, that by faith, through his power, we can draw from him that power. And if we have that power from God, we can deal with any problem, any trouble, and overcome it, because you see, we do not overcome it by our power, our wisdom, or our knowledge. We draw upon the power to God, of God, and then together we solve the problem. And we may not solve the problem that it's going to go away, but now God gives us the strength to deal with it. And all of a sudden, this problem that's so overwhelming to us that we can't deal with it because something that is something easy, that by God's power, this problem just doesn't seem so big anymore. Then the power of God gives us that strength to finally say, I don't care about that problem anymore. I'm just going to go on. And that's why it's really amazing when we think about this, that God says to us, come to me, all you who are burdened and weary, and I will give you rest. So where can I go to meet God? He says, well, simply open up your Bible. And there we will talk, we'll meet, I will empower you. I will give you the strength. I will give you the wisdom and together we'll find a solution or we'll give you the strength to deal with it. So think about what God says to us, that I can draw upon the power of God to deal with every problem and escape the corruption of this, the, the world caused by evil desires. What a wonderful promise that is from us, for, for, for us, I should say, from God. And that's why it's really amazing when you think about that. Because God says that all things work for the good of those who love me. So suddenly, even a problem that we think is so overwhelming, overwhelming draws us closer to God, and suddenly the good is there. Because God says, I don't want you to operate by your power, your wisdom. I want you to operate by mine. And then when suddenly we have the solution is in God, through God, because of God, I can deal with anything. Because I'm not dealing with it with human power. I'm dealing with it with divine power. That's why, my friends, as we go through this pandemic and we go through all the problems associated with sin in this world, we're always going to come to that point where we reach the end of our rope and say, I don't think I can handle it. And then God will say, yes, I know that, but together we can, together we will. So may we always look to God for solution and find that solution in him and through him. Amen. Can we pray? Well, Lord God, Heavenly Father, sometimes you're going to send us problems that will cause us to give up because we can't find a solution, but suddenly we find a way through you. We draw closer to you, and because of that wonderful love that you have for us all, we'll overcome it. So help us to turn to you early when we face a problem so that together we can overcome it 
and live the life that you want me to live until I join you in heaven. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen.